Hi there, still in my robe. Happy Mother's Day. In today's video, I'm going to plan out my new week for May 9th to the 15th, not using any stickers, nor any washi tapes, but just my stencil and some markers. Let's go. My name is Mary Ann. Through my own planning and budgeting and everything in between, I hope you find some inspiration for your own planning. Hi, so today I will plan out my Wellbeing Planner spread and my weekly two-page spread for May the 9th to the 15th. Check in the description below for the links in my shop for these planner insert printables. Here's the stationery I'll be using today. A pen, a ruler, a stencil, Kuretake Zig Clean Colour Dot Markers, Tombow Jewel Brush Pens, Zebra Mild Liners, and I'll also be testing out these two new colour sets from Zebra Mild Liner, Neutral and Gentle Colour Set. I'll do a pen test review video of these later down the track. Now you don't have to have these stationary to be able to do the planning I do today. You can check the video up the top where I use my son's Crayola markers. Now I always start on the morning journal page and get the dates done on the first column. For this week, I'm not going to be using number stickers like I normally do, but instead use a letters and numbers stencil I purchased from Officeworks. So I'll trace out the numbers 9 to 15 down the first column of the grid. In the morning journal, I write out how I'm feeling for that morning, why I feel that way, what can I do to make myself feel better, and what I'm grateful for. Now I'm actually doing an online course, Parenting with Emotional Intelligence, to help me help my son manage his emotions, as at the moment he cannot communicate in words how he feels about certain emotions and it can come out as a challenging behaviour. But what I'm actually learning is a lot more about my own emotions too, that our emotions are neither good nor bad, they are neutral, they are a messaging system. They are trying to tell us something. So morning journaling for me helps me acknowledge my feeling or my emotion at the beginning of the day, to accept it and find the reason why I feel that way and then respond by doing or planning something that will make me feel better. So this has actually helped my anxious thoughts a lot and I am able to manage how I react to those emotions better. Now you don't have to have these headings on your morning journal page. I've seen others use it to track other things like quotes or affirmations. Use it to help you acknowledge where you are and what you can do to make yourself feel good for that day. Question, now do you have a set morning ritual or routine that you do in the morning? Let me know in the comment section below and how it helps you start the day. Next, I'm just going to colour in the numbers using the new Gentle Colour Set of 6 Zebra Mild Liners. I'll do a quick swatch of the colours on this grid post-it note to see what order I'll use them to colour in the numbers. You can either use one colour to colour in the numbers or, like me, use them all. Next, I'll label the headings of the other columns. Again, how I feel, because to feel better and what I'm grateful for. Now it's time to embellish the top of the page. I'm not going to use a washi tape today like I normally do, but actually draw my own washi-like tape using Zebra Mild Liners. I'm going to pick two colours in the Gentle Colour Set. That's the Mild Lilac and the Mild Sorbet Blue. So what I'll do is I will draw a tartan design with these two colours. So I will draw a thicker line using the chiseled tip with one colour and then the fine tip in between with the other colour. Then for the vertical lines, I will swap the two colours. So the other one as the thick line and then the other colour as the thin line. And I'll do the same for the bottom part of the opposite page. There you go, washi tape-like embellishment. And 
And just to make it pop a bit, I'm taking one of the Kurutake Ziklin colour dot markers in salmon and draw on petal-like marks to make a flower. Check the video above to see how I use this effect on my May monthly cover. And I'll draw another flower on the other side with the colour Hyacinth. I am using a 160 GSM weighted paper so there is no bleed through or ghosting on the other side. The below tracker is for my micro breaks. So micro breaks are part of the three types of breaks you should take to avoid burnout. Macro, meso and micro. Micro breaks are those that are taken several times a day for one to two minutes, like a mini reset. So it could be a one minute deep breathing, write down what you're grateful for, a cup of coffee or tea, step outside, stand up from your desk or stretch. So it can be a brain break or a physical break. Now on the left hand side of the well-being spread is the wheel of life seven areas of focus. First I'm going to add the heading for May using the same two colours of zebra mild liners and then outlining each letter with a black pen to make it pop. The wheel of life is a methodology by Zig Ziglar where you want to make sure you are doing something in each seven areas of focus. Your mental, physical, spiritual, family, career, finance and social and that it is balanced throughout the week. So for example not focusing too much on work and neglecting your mental or family focus. If a wheel is flat on certain areas it doesn't function as well. So I just write out the daily habits I want to achieve if not each day most days to get a nice balance. I then assign a colour to each area of focus that way when I colour my wheel of life pie chart I know exactly for which area each segment represents. Next with a grey Muji gel pen in 0.5 I just mark out my ideal number of hours of sleep on my sleep tracker which is six and a half hours. Then I embellish the page a little bit more with a glass jar with flowers using the dot markers to create the flower petals. Now I am mindful of the time so I will go through the weekly spread a little bit faster than usual but the setup is a lot similar than previous weekly plan with me's that you can watch up here to get ideas for your own weekly spread. So again I'll use this stencil to write down the dates and the days of the week. I got a bit hot here so I took off my robe which was an early Mother's Day present from my boys. Next I just colour the dates the same way as I did in my morning journal section. For May I'm tracing the letters in caps and then add the dates on the calendar. Here I trace the middle letter first in the rectangular space that way I know that it will be in the middle and I'll have enough space for all three first letters of each day. I then colour it the same colours as the dates. A cute little embellishment in the bottom corner for a bit of colour in that area and a few more flowers here and there. And I just add the label on the left hand side line section with the notes heading. Now it's time to add the events and tasks that are pre-scheduled from my calendar. Here I wrote something incorrectly so I just used my paper mate correction tape to cover the mistake. I then highlight each event or task in the colours of my colour coding. Next it's time to do my time blocking for the days. So homeschool, my AM routine, my PM routine, my workout, my coffee break time, my cleaning time as well as time to do my side hustle. And I just label each colour time block. 
And then on the bottom half of each column, I write down any known set tasks for the week. So for example, here I am writing down my scheduled Instagram post topics. Now, if you do find some inspiration for your own planning today, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit that bell to get notification when I upload new videos. So let's have a quick review of our two spreads for the new week. The Wellbeing Planner spread and my weekly two-page spread with no stickers or washi tapes inside. I thank you for your time watching today. I'll see you again next time. I appreciate you and check out my other videos to see what else I get up to. Bye bye. Hi there. Shush!